The first card you have is your current position coming into the month, and you have the King of Wands. Exactly. The King of Wands is on a moral high ground. The King of Wands is somebody who is very magnetic. Cancer, you are very magnetic. At the end of this year, and I've been saying this since the beginning of this year, you are going to be throwing out a magnetism that is more and more and more approachable, um, confident. People are going to be drawn to you um, in, in several different aspects. It, it could even be pertaining to, you know, work. It could be pertaining to um, it's just friendship. You know, maybe you, you've noticed that, you know, more friends are, hey, what are you up to? Or what have you been doing? Or uh, people at work have been, you know, talking about, you know, look at the project you've done. Or you get my point. Um, people are drawn to you. And the thing about the King of Wands is this is somebody who takes the high ground. This is somebody who knows where you want to go you know, develops plans and embraces them and moves forward. This is also about leadership too and communicating. This is communicating with confidence. So in other words, Cancer, right now is the time for you to shine and, you know, be the leader in all aspects of your, if your life, if your love life isn't working for you, if the past keeps coming back and it's repeating itself, cut it off. If the past comes back and you love that person, but it just hasn't been clicking, take the lead. Where do we need to go? What do we need to do to resolve this? If work hasn't been going the way you want, again, take the lead. This, you're, you're at a peak here, Cancer, and it's going to continue. And it's just a very high vibrational energy for you guys right now. The next card you have is how you're feeling throughout the month um, coming into November. And you have this strength card, which is Leo's card. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo placements in your chart. But the strength card is embodying that energy, that patience, that balance. But above all, that self-belief that there's no right or wrong direction. There's no right or wrong ritual. There's no right or wrong habit as long as it's healthy and makes you feel good. As long as it embodies everything... Um, that you're looking for. Now, of course, I'm not a naysayer, but we're we're all adults here, right? And we know that not everything is roses and rainbows all the time. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't have to be like this. And some of you out there know exactly what, who I'm talking about, what situations I'm talking about. So you need to lead the way and start taking charge of your life. Learn to say no, learn to say yes, learn to take chances, learn to cut energy off. You get my point. The next card you have is your distant past over the past five, 10 years. And you have been blurred before. And the universe says you've been blurred before. Not this time, not this month, and not going forward. The Ace of Swords is somebody who sees things very clearly, very logically, and you hold the power. Your read is very high vibration right now that I want to scream it out. So I may sound like I've had a lot of caffeine. Ha! Huh, jokes on you. I don't drink caffeine. Um, maybe it's some green tea. I drink green tea, but, you know, the caffeine in that is not. Anyways, my point is I can feel the rush. It's heading towards you. Like the lines are no longer blurred. You can see what the past held. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Again, this is not you living for everybody else's expectations. Okay, so this person and you fought all the time, you didn't get along, bad things happened, but you still love them and you still feel like you can, you guys can make this work. That's nobody's business but yours. If you love this person, but you know it's toxic, it's never going to happen, nothing's coming around, they've shown their true colors and you're done with it, then cut and run. The universe is saying you have been foggy in several areas for a long time. Again, that goes along with that whole cancer's mentality of taking care of everybody else first, making sure everybody else's needs are first. Yes, if you're parents, well done. That's your responsibility, right? If you're, you know, fur baby owners, that's your responsibility. But it is not your responsibility to make sure your neighbor's taken care of and that you don't hurt your ex's feelings too much or that you don't, you get my point. So you are now, the universe is saying, look, Whatever's gone on in your past is not going to rule your future. And for a lot of you, that's going to take a lot of courage and a lot of strength. But you're going to stand your ground and you're going to make sure that your values and your, um, you know, what you're wanting as well is just as important as what maybe an ex wants um, or what a family member or friend wants. The next card you have is your immediate past. So over the past few weeks, past month or two, you have the Empress. The Empress is still being able to nurture, 
Okay. Still being able to be the cancer with the open heart and, and the amazing, um, love for yourself and those around you. Uh, but steering more towards yourself to a certain extent, because some of you have lost that self love along the way and you're, you're gaining it back step by step by step. The, the Empress is blessed with an energy. Okay. And this is look at how lucky you are. Look at the blessings that came today. I woke up. I had food on my table. Um, you know, my kids are healthy and happy. Whatever your blessings are, your blessing could be that you found a freaking lucky penny on the ground. But in reality, the Empress looks at everything with the energy of remembering to love um, and lead your own path and move forward with compassion. So you have an incredible amount of love and abundance surrounding you. So don't don't take it for granted, but absorb it because there's just been a stage with a lot of you that you've forgotten who you are, what you deserve, and you deserve to be absorbed and loved and, and comforted and feel secure, whether it's a past, present, or non-existent, being single right now, just enjoying life, or just trying to process life, whatever it is for you, you know, it, it's time to start absorbing this amazing energy that you're going to start receiving and, and recognizing it as, you know, a gift um, and, and take, and taking care. Okay. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few months, so new, the Ace of Pentacles is new, 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 new. This is prosperity. This is options. This is a plethora of opportunities coming your way. This could be from work to love to, um, everything in between. But the biggest thing with the Ace of Pentacles is new. I do feel like a lot of you are going to be seeing, um, that new, that new outlook on life. Okay. This Ace of Swords type uh, mentality, the, the blurry vision, the rose colored glasses, they're gone. You're going to recognize what a healthy, sane, um, relationship looks like. Somebody is going to take their time and make the effort to get to know you, make the effort to, um, pay attention to what you're talking about. This is somebody who is wanting to work for your time and attention. And this is somebody new cancer right now. So far, thus far in this read, um, this is not a past person. Now, the interesting thing is the past person is sitting at your door or window, not literally, so don't freak out. They're not like sitting outside. I mean, for somebody, they could be down the street, but don't get all freaked out. It's not, it's not like that. And come on, don't pretend that, you know, people haven't done drive-bys or whatever. I'm not talking about crazy stalker person out there. I'm just saying there's still an energy. Okay. So when I say that, what they show me is here's something new, a fresh new penny, right? You find this nice new penny, but you still have the rusted pennies or the tarnished pennies in your pocket. Now, I'm not saying you're holding on to this person, but this person may be holding on to you because there is, when they show me this, they show me like you in a lit up room and then somebody over here, like outside the door or the window or outside of, you know, just whatever. Again, not like they're peeking in your windows or anything. You get my point that, that there's still somebody in the darkness, in that tarnished area. So it's somebody that you maybe haven't gotten closure with. It's somebody that you may never get closure with, or it's somebody who's waiting for the right time to come back and reapproach your life. But at that point, Cancer, you're going to have big decisions to make because you've come out of that fog. And this person may have been um, who helped you reach that fuzzy fog, um, non-clarity uh, place. The next card you have is your immediate future. So throughout November, there you go. I don't even have to, we don't even have to continue to go, period. Cancer, this is the chariot card, which is your card. The chariot represents cancer. This is forward momentum, self-identification. That is why there is such an amazing rush in this read. I can't even explain it. There's this amazing, I feel like I'm on a sugar rush or something. And I don't even know what that feels like, to be honest, because I don't eat that much sugar. And I couldn't tell you, you know, I'm not eight. I promise I may sound like it right now because I'm all excited for you. But there is something crazy in the air, Cancer. I'm not kidding you. The chariot is like, let's go. Let's move. It's self-identification. How could you get any more clear that now is your time to shine, Cancer? Now is your time to take the lead, take the control, be the king of wands. The chariot card talks about, Hop on the chariot. Where are we going? This way or that way? It doesn't matter. 
You don't have to have all the answers right now, Cancer. What you do need to have is your self-belief, your strength, your patience, the ability to be you, the ability to, um, to again, count those blessings and recognize them for what they are and recognize that even though some of you are hurting or missing or feeling like a part of you is missing right now, or you're going through different, different times in life with just everything that's going on, the pandemic, whatever, or you're missing somebody in particular, or you're missing a connection, or you're feeling sad, something didn't work out. That is going to lead you to this place that you are about to experience that is going to be amazing. Literally gave me chills. Amazing. The next card you have is anything tangible throughout the month and you have the high priestess. So the high priestess is about letting everything kind of settle, let the dust, the dust settle. This is about, this is talking about the high priestess is talking about, um, you don't need to rush. So even though you're going to move forward and the momentum is here and the, there are stars aligning in your future. Okay. You don't need to rush. There's no need to act or make a decision because you feel forced. Like, let's say you have an ex coming in and they're like, the cancer, I miss you. I love you. You don't have to make a decision now. You, you can put that away in the closet for a little bit and, and take your time. If they respect you enough, they'll understand that and they'll, and they'll give you your space or patience or whatever. If they come in demanding that you need to make an answer right now, then, then maybe this is when you learn to say no. Or maybe this is when you say that doesn't work for me. I'm not here to make you, to always make you happy or to always, um, you know, play by what's, what, what makes you feel good. Cancer's taking time to do what they need for themselves. And there's nothing wrong with that. When the time comes to move, you'll know. Okay. Sometimes, um, an inaction, not taking action turns into actions. Does that make sense? You not jumping because they text you WID because you know, you deserve better than WID. You deserve something. Hello. I miss you. I'm sorry. Can I talk to you? Um, this is sometimes the inactions, the not doing anything, the not rushing into anything is the forward momentum. Because if they say, well, screw you. If you don't, you don't have an answer for me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go date other people. Well, then good. You just opened up room in my life for somebody who might be a little um, better suited for my pace or what I'm doing. The next card you have is how you're feeling throughout the month. And you have the two of pentacles, right? Because now is the time to be balanced, Cancer. Now is the time to um, reflect. The two of pentacles is balance, priorities, and and literally getting like the, the, this fuzzy feeling is gone. They keep pointing at this, this, this blinders are no longer on. The two of pentacles is saying, I am achieving what it is I need to achieve to live my best life. And anything that throws me off balance is not, is not going to work. Look, you have a lot going on right now. Work and kids and school and all this other thing, all of these other things, um, you know, everything going on in, in the world and you're balancing it and you're managing it. And for a lot of you, you're managing it better than you thought you would, because I hear people going, oh man, you have no idea, but you do, you're managing it. You're, you know, you're taking care of what needs to be done. Things are flowing um, and you're man managing what you need to manage, but it's about enjoying the journey too. It's not always about, you know, a checklist of, I need to get this done. I need to get that done. Okay. You, life is full of, um, you know, moving on to new ideas, new experiences. And sometimes you just need to breathe and enjoy it. It doesn't need to be, I have to make this decision right now. Or if I don't, you know, if my ex wants me back, but I don't go back to him or her right now, then I'll never get them again. It's so, it's such a facade when people think that if they don't make that decision right now, because they're not feeling it a hundred percent or they need more time or they need, um, they, they need to practice more patience or saying no, like I said. Um, they think that people are so ingrained to think that you lose that opportunity. It doesn't work that way. Do you know how many times I've done reads for people or I've, I, I have a really good friend who has an experience where she and her ex, you know, they were together for three years. They broke up. They thought they'd never see each other. They both went on their separate ways. 
Years later, they meet up again by chance and now they're married with two kids. So if it's supposed to happen, it will happen. Just because it doesn't happen when somebody else tells you that it should happen doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Just means it's not your time right now. The next card you have is your hopes and fears for the outcome of the month. And you have the nine of wands, capability, stamina, strength. This is talking about people don't know you yet, Cancer. They haven't experienced what you're about to accomplish. They haven't, or they do, and they know you have just not put yourself in the the position of owner ownership, of leadership again. Not ownership necessarily, but owning your own actions and understanding what you know actions you take and what what counters those or what reactions come from those. At the end of the day, the nine of wands is just perseverance on such a significant level. This is you demanding nothing but the best from yourself and from people in your life because you deserve it and you're tired of the toxicity and you're tired of the fighting and you're tired of the um, unknown or the you know, never getting a straight answer or always second guessing. And, and there's always, you know, little things to read into and you're tired of that. So you're sitting here saying, you just wait, you just wait. You haven't seen anything yet from cancer. The next card you have is your outcome card and you have the lovers. And this is what I'm talking about. Here it comes. And this is new love. I don't feel like this is past love. For some of you, it could very well be past love, but this is very much showing up as new love because like I said, you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And the Ace of Pentacles is that new, the new opportunities. The lovers, this doesn't feel like somebody coming in and saying, oh, I apologize. There's no Six of Cups here. There's no, um, you know, past flame energy. 